Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of Toy the Bound Hanako-kun. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Stupid thing. So sticky. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. Shit. You know what I gotta say? Freaking Hanako, he his voice reminds me of two characters that I'm kinda of thinking of. And they're both from Dog and Ropa. Nagato and Nagi. Like, I, I don't know why, but just, like, listening to him talk sometimes, I'm like, are you one of his best ideas? Like, it has to be. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But who knows? But he reminds me a lot of Nagato because, I mean, he, he's interesting, but then he has that really interesting, weird dark side about him, and then you just really want to know everything. But, uh, he might be, like, way worse than my God. You were <laughs> seriously. No. <laughs> that is not no date. Mm. For Nana, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I'd rather sort some paper. <laughs> Yeah, but I also feel like Fushi's possibly using him in a way, too, because he should have been there with her, even though, you know, he was only in there for a couple of minutes and he leaves. Hmm? Where's your book? Your brooch, too.
Will y'all say take you too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, you say that, but I feel like with this show, hearing rumors, it's true no matter what. Oh, damn, you have lunch? Shit. <laughs> but look, hold on, Nana, think about your stuff that I was also taken away. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Why in the world would it take locker doors? Oh. oh. Uh huh. Yep. Just go. Mm -hmm. Oh hell. Mm -hmm. Conveniently, a towel would be there. Mm -mm, don't use that. Nope. See. I don't like the fact that it leads to... Mm -mm, don't go in there. Shit. Shit. Uh -huh. You said me too. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Huh. Jesus Christ. You okay? Oh. oh my god, buddies! That's so cute! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, they're so fucking cute! Mm. So you don't possibly really even take anyone's soul.
cute. I mean, come on. Oh. Oh, white inferno. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Just to spend time with her. Oh. Well, she is your friend, Hanukkah. Maybe just, you know, nostalgic feels to your past life. <laughs> so fucking cute. Yeah, in the girls' bathroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm? And you are? Isn't that, um, Castle in the Sky? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God.
胃口味。Well, the thing is, you didn't know. Uh... <laughs> yep, there's our love triangle. <laughs> Oh. Well, why don't we ask Hanako to tell him? <laughs> you can't think of <laughs> oh. mm. Oh. You just need to practice a little more. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not really, it was smart though. <laughs> it's okay, you have to be knocked out. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm.
You're joking, right? Mm -hmm. That one's interesting. Can't wait to see that one next week. But she is right. She barely really knows anything about Hanako. And I hope that the the more we get into the series, that they do actually get to sit down and have another conversation. And where he can just literally tell her everything about himself. His past. Like, maybe his past hopes and dreams and everything that he possibly wanted before, you know, he killed someone and then died and everything for that. But still... He's still a caring boy. He still has a little bit of, like, he, he uh, with the nostalgic thing, it's somewhat what he meant to still somewhat be human. And so he still has those emotions inside of him. And when he is around Nanny, he does feel a certain type of way. He feels a little human again when they're around each other and they need each other. Ko is interesting. I think he's going to make me laugh entirely for the rest of this damn show. <laughs> but sometimes you can't really take him too seriously. <laughs> of how he is, but he really is interesting, and I hope we do get to see more of him. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh my god, but... <laughs> but it was a good episode. Oh my god. Oh, two part episode. Nice. That's interesting. But oh my god, can we talk about how cute these things are? I want them if they ever do some like promotion stuff for it. They want to sell some cute things because you know what Japan they are. I would fucking buy everything if I had to, whether it's keychains, book bags, DVDs, stuffed animals. I would I would buy a whole bunch of these freaking plushies and put them in my brand new room or in my new place because oh my freaking god, they're so fucking adorable and cute and just so freaking squishy. Just like oh my god, like Kirby in a nutshell. You just want to really. <laughs> so cute but yeah we're now officially really in a love triangle because ko like is starting i mean even though it's only the first episode where he's officially introduced to these two and how he felt when he saw nene i'm just like yep mm -hmm, there's that love triangle that no <laughs> you know yato what's your face in yukine you be like oh god but i, I mean in my opinion like it it's just i think the end game is Hanako and Nene because they just look so cute together and like the fact is this is a boy who is very like typically in every anime because I've seen a lot of animes especially where it is um a guy in the beginning who doesn't really have feelings towards the girl and he always like flirts with her say I love you did that freaking a lot and so you were like oh my god just like tell her how you really feel then finally it happened you were like ah, yes! but um yeah, it gives me a lot of toys feels towards that and a couple other uh, romance animes that I've seen, but it's just only with episode one because of the fact is that he um, ate the mermaid scale at scale and they're, you know, intertwined now, always together, and that they can feel towards things. Kind of how, like, in True Blood, where freaking sucky and that shit, but yeah, if you haven't seen True Blood, yeah, watch that. But we're very, you know, <laughs> monetize with it. If you're under 18, please don't watch that show. If you're over 18, yeah, go ahead and watch it. Watch the whole damn series and then, you know, be pissed about the way that damn show ended, even though it's several years later. But yeah, I mean, they're just so fucking cute together. I mean, come on. Even though, yes, he murders someone. He's cute. I, I am not about to do, yes, let's fall in love with serial killers up in this bitch. But, I mean, he's not really a serial killer. He killed, like, one person. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, but that's why I really want to know more about his past. And so with these like with the next episode being a two-parter episode that's really what i want 
is for them to just sit down and hash everything out. Let us know everything about Hanako-san and wanting to just know anything else that he really wants to tell us. Yeah, he might not tell Nene everything, but there's going to be other episodes in the later on future with this show that there's going to be secrets that he's not going to be able to tell her that Nene eventually is going to find out. So, yeah. Just let them have a talk. Cause they just, when they were laying out on the freaking, having like somewhat of a picnic, just being relaxing and shit, like, they look so fucking cute. Like, oh my god. I can't, baby. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to the episode 2 of Toilet Bound on the <laughs> If you guys enjoyed me, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 3. Bye, guys. Thank you.